Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to our channel and welcome to another one of our videos. Today we're going to cover Palantir uh, Technologies. We're going to cover some news articles over the past week since our last video. And we'll talk about where we see the stock is heading and what my current position is. If you're new to our channel, please click any of the my money icons below the video to review past videos. And please smash the like button and subscribe. Let's get started. This is my current position. It hasn't changed. I haven't put any covered calls on it. Here's the current market. Today, we got a positive market going on. The NASDAQ is definitely up there. We got a lot of earnings coming out this week. Share price for, for PLTR is $24.09. 30 million shares traded hands so far compared to our normal 83 million. That's incredible. I'm waiting for her to get back up to somewhere around 25 or so. Before I do another cover call, I'll do another 26 cover call against her. So the analyst, uh, they're still the same. There's just two cells right now as of for April. The average analyst price is $26.33 and the highest is $40 and the lowest is $15. Let's check out the chart right now. This is the 15 minute chart. Let's go down where the RSI is down here at the bottom of the page. We're currently at the RSI about 65. I'd be worried if we're close to 80. But as long as we stay in the 60s, you know, up here in the 70s, I don't see any problems for it to go higher. As you can see, the 50-day moving average, which is the blue line, is still above the 200-day. So we're good to go. We've been good to go since the 23rd here. She's going to keep going up as long as the NASDAQ is going well and there's no negative stuff coming up Thursday. We could hit 26 this week. That's my opinion. Let's check out some of the news. Last Thursday, Palantir was selected as a UK Crown commercial service supplier. You can see it all right here. They're going to provide the framework to provide a, a route to market for organizations wishing to purchase software subscriptions and license support for back office systems direct from software vendors. It's going to be available to all central government departments and other public sector bodies, including local authorities, health, police, fire, rescue, education, and administrations. So this is happening over there in Europe. I will also put this article down below so you can read the whole article. There's two major asset managers that are buying these two tech stocks, which PLTR is one of them, BlackRock and Vanguard. Is the two of the world's largest asset managers were buying shares are our stock and Shopify. Then they discussed back in 2003 where they started designing software for U.S. intelligence communities. And they go on down here and they talk about the healthcare logistics, pharmaceutical stuff that they help with. In 2020, uh, Palantir's revenue jumped 47% to $1.1 billion. We've covered that in the previous video. And these companies are still, still picking up contracts. For instance, their ink deals with the world's second largest mining company, Rio Tinto and PGNG. And, and they have the ability to add new customers and maintain a strong top line growth. I will also leave this article down below. All right, folks, I kept this a short video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attach another video of my past video with PLTR that I've done a, a little bit over a week ago. And then you'll be able to go back to that one if you need more additional information on the company. And please share our videos with others and smash the like button and subscribe. Y'all take care of yourself on this Monday. This is Sunny. I'm out.